in for Chuck this yeah. weekend, and Sean, you were talking about this so really since Monday, that yeah. this could have potential to be severe. Yeah, I mean, even over the weekend, I think Kelly was kind of yeah. addressing this might be a severe weather day, and that's still in the cards here, and uh, that's how it's going to shape up. We want you to be weather aware today. Angel and I will have you covered through the evening. Let's go ahead and plan it out for you. Now, I will tell you, there's going to be some rain already. I'll sh show you that in just a second. We have rain around this morning. Now, the stuff that we see early today will not be severe. Once we get after 12 o'clock, and especially after 2 p.m., that's when we start up the ante for severe weather here. Now, this is a live look over in Plainfield. We'll take you from there, and let's show you the latest with Live Doppler 13 radar. Yesterday, we were talking about late tonight, early in the morning. We'd have some uh, the initial batches of rain, and that's starting to show up. So this will impact the morning commute for some and the bus stop for others as well. And then we'll have what's left over of this complex of thunderstorms. Now, uh, it is going to be in a weakening phase, but nonetheless, still will impact the morning commute with some rain and maybe even some rumbles of thunder, although uh, much of the air over us right now is fairly stable. So if we do hear some thunderstorms, probably few and far between and probably far western Indiana. So this is at 1230, okay? And then as we go into the afternoon, especially along and south of I-70 where it's going to be warmer and more unstable, that's when we're going to start to get these individual cells that will have the potential to rotate and produce severe weather. Really haven't changed much on the outline, and this is a big player in the forecast. Just how far north will the warmer, unstable air make it? Will it get into the metro area? That's kind of the big question mark for us here in Indy. I feel a little more confident Bloomington, Columbus, Seymour, Bedford, North Bern, and Greensburg, and even over toward Richmond, maybe a little higher chance of seeing uh, severe weather. But Indy is certainly in play, and it, you need to watch this closely as we go throughout the afternoon and into the evening. This is the risk map. May change a little bit. We'll have an update during our noon show. But uh, here's the deal. All hazards of severe weather in play, including very large hail with some of the stronger storms, flash flooding, tornadoes, and damaging winds. So the whole nine yards here. We'll go from the uh, stormy afternoon and a stormy evening and then overnight tonight, by this time tomorrow morning, we get on the colder side of the storm, and we're going to see this dramatic transition from near 70 today. Watch on Future Track 13. Yeah, we're still going to have these wind whip snow showers across the area during the day on Thursday. Not great timing with opening day at Victory Field tomorrow. Haven't changed that forecast at all. Still thinking about 42 degrees for a high on Thursday. The weekend still looks fabulous, but we have to get through Thursday and Friday. And then we're talking sunshine and 70s for Sunday. So we'll have the victory field forecast for tomorrow. It is not pretty. We are not hitting that 60-degree guarantee. But if you're at the park, you are going to get a free ticket for tomorrow. I'll explain in just a few minutes. Yeah.